All right, what is going on, everyone? Thank you all so much for stopping by the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well, guys, I think it's going to be a Wednesday. This feels like a Wednesday type of episode. I think we're calling it What Could Be Left Wednesday, where we finish off the box of Elite. We should have seven packs left, if my math in previous episodes was correct. And uh, unfortunately, if my math was correct, I think we might have blown through all the hits. I think we have four autographs or mem cards, which, with at least two of them being um, autographs per box. And as you can see, we got two Buffalo Bills. Well, who did, they didn't stick around with the Bills. Autographs, Robert Woods and Marquise Goodwin. And then we got two mem cards for, uh, we got Josh Freeman, and then we got the Drew Brees. So, seven packs left. Let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. So we got seven packs. So our math was correct on previous episodes. But now the question is, what could possibly be left in this box that maybe uh, would be worth continuing on the series? Some numbered cards. Maybe, um... Some acetates that are pretty cool. Maybe a, a spare extra autograph. Can you imagine if they toss us an extra auto? Well, let's find out. We have Patrick Peterson, Sam Bradford, and uh, Mikel LeSure. Possibly um, and possibly not. Alright, so this pack is thicker, which means that either we got a bonus hit or we got a filler, and there you go. Uh, it's a filler card, so let's find a rookie. Come on, give us a rookie. We got Calvin Johnson, or yeah, Calvin Johnson Jr. We got Rob Gronkowski, um, D'Angelo Williams, Steven Jackson, and finally, guys, we got. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, okay, there's a Giants PC hit to go over there with Jamal Charles from the last episode. Um, one Giants PC, one Chiefs PC. On to pack number three. I hope there's something at least numbered, and hopefully a rookie. Hopefully, another Travis Kelsey rookie, or Tyron Matthew rookie, or Eric Fisher despite being retired rookie, or a Le'Veon Bell despite not really earning his his name as a Chief quite yet. Uh, we have a filler card so we can draw a picture of any of those guys oh, oh, oh. and make it our own rookie card. We got David Wilson for the Giants PC and a Brandon Whedon for um, the Browns. We're not going to PC him. We're just going to move on to the next pack. This one is thin, so there's no filler card. There's no kid reporter. Nothing but a couple of cards. But we do have a die cut, which you can see that little gap right there. So let's slide that to the back. It has a nice little coloring, a little blue. So maybe a giant, uh, maybe like an Eli Manning um, blue die cut would be pretty cool. Uh, we got Kenny Britt, Rashad Mendenhall, um, Danny Amendola, and I think that is... Panther. All right, let's not slow roll it. It is a die cut. It is blue. It is Cam Newton. Okay, I had a feeling it was gonna be Cam Newton. I think we did pull a numbered Cam Newton from the first box we ripped for the Holiday Extravaganza. That is pretty nice though. The Carolina and the blue go nicely hand in hand. Uh, this numbered out of 99. There's the back. If you want to check the stats, guys. He has signed uh, a new contract with the Patriots, who have been on a spending spree. Um, sorry, Cam, I'm just going to have to go right there. They've been on a bit of a spending spree, beefing up the team. So maybe he'll, uh, you know, with a little more uh, experience with the team under the belt, maybe he'll uh, have a better season than last season. It wasn't the best. You know, it had COVID issues and a whole lot of stuff going on there in New England. I'm not really hoping they do any better, to be honest with you, because I'm a Chiefs fan. And they're, they're kind of like, you know, a thorn in our, in our side. But now now that Tampa Brady's in Tampa Bay, Patriots aren't that much of a concern. But, you know, maybe this year they will be. And there we have CJ Spiller, guys. That pack was a whack gonna, pack. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, and we're going to move on to the next one. This is pack six already. Once again, unless we get super lucky and we beat the odds. If, if we can beat the Panini odds and get a fifth hit, um, we'll have something to celebrate. But we, here, here we have the Zach Dessert. So the Zach Dessert PC, um, which was only a hard hat, now includes a base card. Numbered, by the way, to $8.99. So that does raise a question. There was the other numbered rookie cards. For example, Terrence over here, 
who is numbered to 799. So a difference of 100, but there really is no difference in the card. So why is one numbered to 100 and one of them is numbered to, or no, I'm sorry, 899 and the other 799? I don't know. And the quarterback has more. So that's interesting. Um, unsolved mysteries. If you know, go ahead and drop a comment. Um, and I, I'd be pretty impressed at your knowledge because I think it's, it's not as easy to find the, um, the checklists like it is for the modern stuff on like, you know, cardboard connections. So sometimes the parallels on these old ones, unless it's like super shiny like these, where it's obvious why, uh, what parallel or if it's a base. Um, but, uh, you know, I can learn slowly. We do have something backwards, so let's just put that one in the back and pretend like this Bronco is going to be a big, fantastic hit. It might just be one of those primary colors, but we will find out. Uh, Ray Rice uh, for the Rutgers PC, I guess, not really. Uh, Matthew Stafford, Mark Ingram, and let's not slow roll, guys. This is um, passing the torch for Demarius Thomas, and he is passing it to, to Rod Smith. Oops, that's kind of off camera, huh? So... As I always mention, I am collecting the 2017 Passing the Torch um, dual mem card set. So I do appreciate the series, but there's no there's no mem. Unless it's like, you know, engraved in there. There's no mem in this one. But it's still pretty cool. I'm not really a, um, a Broncos fan. This guy was pretty good though. What happened to him? Okay. Alright guys, well, that was the end of this box. If we can take it now discard that and focus on the hits um yeah that's just about everything actually let me just kind of readjust my camera i would say all in all that's a pretty fun hobby box uh, i would recommend if the price doesn't jump up like everything else is you know a lot of good rookies that you can chase and as you can see that the autos are pretty cool a lot of number cards cool little like uh kind of gimmicky stuff with the acetates and like these little hole punched cards whatever this is you get the uh the possibility of having a card that you can uh, fidget spin with if you need to play game worn material. There we go. Switch it up for the end of the episode. So yeah, definitely a fun uh, a fun product, and I would recommend it. It's also like Elite seems to be the cheapest uh, boxes throughout the years. So I, I probably I'm probably gonna end up ripping a lot of Elite from various years. All right, guys, I'm wasting time now. This was a quick episode. And uh, come back later on in the week for something, because I don't really know. I'll be honest with you. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for stopping by, and take care.